Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to G-Bears Off-Grid Ways, Homestead in the Desert. This is September 20th, 2020. 9-20-2020. All right. So, <clears throat> I've been kind of lounging around for a couple of days. I don't know. Could be that I'm just uh, not feeling any energy because uh, missing my good friends Tom and Kay. Or it could be just that I'm a lazy SOB and I didn't want to do anything. But anyway, <laughs> let's walk in here a minute because I got to put this uh, splitter away because I took that off of the uh, solar panels that I had. And uh, now I've got <clears throat> my Midnight and the Rover side by side here running together. So. That's one thing I do like about the uh, Midnight is it gives you everything right up front here. It tells you everything right on one screen. The Rover, you have to actually click through the screens and see what's going on with it. So, but, uh, oops. So anyway, um, I'm going to be cleaning up all of the wiring. I took those three controllers out of the system already. And they'll set up there as emergency backups. Uh, although um, the MPPT will probably go on my new uh, solar system when I uh, put the pump in up at the uh, pump house by the water tank. And I've got a clean board coming up here. And I started cleaning up some of the wiring up here. Of course, these were only temporary connections from the um, Harbor Freight panels. But... Uh, I'll just be, I think I might leave those on and just uh, clean things up a little bit, make it look a little neater. Uh, excuse me. Hmm. That's not a tasty bug. Just flew in my mouth. Anyway, <laughs> wanted to show you I did that. And uh, you see there's a bunch of wires and stuff down here. I've been cutting wires, making things shorter, dressing things up. I've got some... Uh, extra battery cables sticking out of the batteries here that all have to be taken off but I have to do that on a shutdown I have to shut everything down and then clean up the battery connections and then uh, all of this uh, mess of wiring and all that's going to be all cleaned up this is actually from um, Harbor Freight and no that's not a uh, MPPT controller it's a, a PWM that uh, the Chinese were selling uh, as an MPPT controller. Well, I should have known better when it was only like uh, $14, or, but uh, had to buy it anyway. But it's a it's a good good PWM controller anyway. Um, it works pretty decent. Uh, I have uh, one of the Harbor Freight ones. Um, I blew some caps out of it, and. Uh, by accident, I actually uh, bumped. This is a, this is the type of connection they give you right here. It's a plug-in that goes into that jack, and I accidentally knocked it out on a bright sunny day, right in midday during full charge, and plugged it back in right away before I thought, "Oh no, I better go cover those panels." And the uh, jolt blew out some caps on the uh, motherboard inside the controller, so. Uh, I've got some spare caps around and I put that unit in my uh, garage so when I get a chance in one of the rainy days when I got nothing to do I'll go sit down in there and uh, remove the caps that are on uh, the, the burnt out caps on the board and replace them with new ones and I'll have another controller back on hand. But uh, this, uh, this plus and minus here, that's the uh, first string of um, panels coming in. Uh, actually, that's two strings of panels coming in. Um, I joined them outside at the panels with uh, two-to-one splitters. And I've got uh, four panels out there of the 305 watts each in two strings. So um, that keeps the uh, voltage down to in the 80-volt range. And uh, that's, that's a good one coming into the midnight because it's, uh, the midnight is good for 150 volts. But... I don't want to get too high on the volts and drop the amps down too low. So I figured 80 would be good. That's just a little over half. 
And then um, on the Rover, I went out and I um, ran my 100 watt panels in series in groups of four. So there's four 100 watt panels that are uh, oh, move around here. Wow, nice, nice breeze tonight. And uh, that's the uh, remnant smoke from the um, Bobcat fire. Little purple sky over there. Not as bad as the other day, but uh, the um, sky here is nice and blue and clear. And I can see the moon right there. I'll zoom in on it. There it is. So it looks like it's going to be a nice clear night, except the smoke is going around both sides of me. So, just like the rains bypass me on both sides, looks like the smoke is doing the same thing. Anyway, so I broke these down into four group, groups of four. One, two, three, four. And these are like uh, uh, 26 volts or something like that a piece. So, uh, that's the open circuit um, voltage. So, I figure four of them is going to put me up in the uh, 90. Uh, 90 volt range so that'd be good so I did uh, these four then took two from the end and tied them to two on the next panel over there and then I took the two on the end and tied them with the two panels on top of my propane shed so I got three sets of four three strings of four going in on the Renogy and then uh, these panels are going in on the midnight now I am planning on getting at least two more of these from uh, my friends at Alltech Electronics in Santa Ana, 714-543-5011. Talk to Ghazi or Lucian and or Vin at uh, if Vin is in the technical. Uh, those guys will take good care of you. So yeah, they still have some of these panels over there and uh, they have some better ones that actually work if they're partially shaded um, with a, a new design that's coming out. So. Uh, you might want those they're i think they're twenty dollars more than these but um because as you can see there's no trees here to shade so i don't have to worry about that so uh, i'm going to try to get four more of these and build a secondary rack um i don't know i'm probably going to put it over there and, and move the harbor freight panels so i have uh the, all in a uh, one a gr group of array here but I do want to be able to get in because I, I wash these things every now and then to make sure they stay clean and I get the best uh, power out of them. I've heard some people say on their houses they've had solar and the solar people tell them, ah, you don't have to clean them, they'll be fine. Well, there is a difference. Okay, you're out in the city. Um, you don't have all of this dust blowing around. We have lots of dust out here and the dust builds up on these things to the point where instead of looking black, they look brown. And if anybody tries to tell you that that's not going to uh, lower the efficiency of your panels, they're full of it. Uh, yeah, the ones on your roof too, hey, hire a handyman, or make sure he has insurance because he's gonna go up on your roof, uh, <clears throat> to go up there with a uh, window washing squeegee and, and uh, um, pad and a bucket of water with I, I like using a dawn dishwashing liquid it gives me nice clean panels and uh, take all the bird crap and that stuff off of your panels clean them up you you'd be happy of course uh, you know it's a little expense but uh, hey you're not paying an electric bill right <laughs> at least I'm not I've been out here um, full-time for two years and uh, before that, uh, for two years, so it's been a total of four years out here. And uh, I haven't paid an electric bill out here yet. All right. So that's about all I have. Um, chickens. Oh, they were doing great. Um, three eggs a day, all coming from the three um, Buff Orpingtons. Uh, Nelly, who... Uh, is uh, Up and Adam's namesake. <laughs> I got you on that one, Up and Adam. Anyway, the uh, uh, Nellie hasn't been laying eggs. She still hasn't. 
and she just hangs around close to uh, Brewster all the time. That's strange because when she first got here, the first day she was here, she laid an egg. And that was the only egg I ever got from her. But uh, the other three, uh, I call them the kids, uh, they jump up here when they hear my voice, come to visit me. And uh, these three right here. And there's Nellie coming out of the coop. And it looks like Brewster's already in there. And Blackie's out here with these three. But these three, each giving me an egg a day. Right, kids? Yeah, you're good kids, aren't you? All right. So, yeah, I just uh, replenished all their food and water and gave them some uh, whole oats. They love those whole oats. And uh, every now and then they get they get a uh, cup of, uh, or uh, yeah, one, one little four ounce cup of um, mealy worms as a treat. But uh, very nice eggs they lay. Uh, they're a little on the small because uh, uh, these these hens are, uh, well, they, they aren't even supposed to have started laying until October, but uh, they started laying last month, uh, the end of last month, and uh, they're little pullet eggs at first, but they're getting bigger. So pretty soon I'll be getting uh, full-size eggs from them. All right, beautiful evening. Nice and cool. I've got to go close my container up because I was in there getting feed for the chicks. And uh, that's uh, the leftover tar paper from uh, Andy's tool shed. And i got to stow that away. And i got to get my refrigerators put away uh, so that they don't sit out here too long. And it's coming up to the winter season, so i got to start cleaning stuff up around here. I got to get these totes cleaned up and get them positioned to start catching rainwater. Um, I, I want to get one of them perfectly cleaned up and uh, keep that one to put on my trailer. So uh, my neighbors, every now and then, uh, we we barter for things, and uh, we've been bartering. And they told me that if I need some water, to come on up and get some. And I still have two half tanks uh, totes down there at the garden. And I will do a garden uh, tour here soon. There's really not that much to see because I've been neglecting it with everything else that's been going on. But there are some things in there growing. And my tomatoes, I pruned them all back, but I've got fresh tomatoes coming out on them. New flowers, new tomatoes, all that stuff. And you know, temperatures are gonna start cooling down a little bit. I can get in there and finish the floor of my greenhouse, get my tables and my racks in there and start getting ready to get my plants that are going to grow through the winter in there. That's all I have for today, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Please subscribe, and don't forget to give me a thumbs up down there. Thank you. G-Bear, signing off.